going on everybody picking up from yesterday's episode if you can check it out i i switched up the setup and it's a little bit different did some cleaning and stuff this is about overdue but yeah we got some errands need to get done it's like 90 degrees right now so today should be a good day it's super windy so you probably can't even hear me right now Gas up Michelle's car last episode, so now you gas up mine. And um, Michelle have it where if it's half a tank, she wants it full. So we're gonna go with Michelle's tradition. Next door, 300ZX. Seems pretty cool. You don't see many of them out here, but you see them. Yo, these gloves are so small, son. These are like a medium. I gotta get like a large. Like I said in the last video, do not touch this thing with your hands. I parked under a tree and uh, worst mistake, look how filthy this car is. I was gonna try to use the thing like I did on Michelle's car in the last episode, but Prelude is went by, I think it's clean. I hope you guys remembered but me and Michelle did that. We had that, what is it? A wine and sip or paint and sip or something like that. These been sitting in my car this whole time, so we're gonna hang this up in the game room. Pulled up next to a Mazda and then of course he trying to run me. Michelle saved his life though. Jeez. I was about to get him smokes, but Michelle saved his life. Why are you laughing? Been talking about washing this car forever. Look how filthy this thing is. These trees are disgusting. So we're gonna head to Brandon's crib. Look how filthy this thing is. Look at this thing cleaned up today. Hope you guys can hear me in the wind though. We're gonna head to Brandon's crib and we're both gonna wash our cars together. Belly just needs a bath. Look at this. I'm disgusted. Can't believe I let this happen. All right, we are in AutoZone to get... Oh, it's in and out. We made the Brandon crib, and this is what I got from AutoZone. Because my car is filthy, we're gonna hit it with some of this Meguiar's hybrid ceramic wax. I mean, never tried before, but I think it's good. All right, guys, so we're gonna rinse off the dirty car real fast, and then we're gonna do a coat, rinse, wax, something. Time lapse. Quick rinse. Looks beautiful already. We're going to. I don't. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna soap it up now, huh? Soapy soap. Oh man, it's already completely changed already. And then Brandon, you guys already know Brandon's car. So they're professional detailers. Oh no, I haven't. And they get cars that haven't. They detail this Mercedes that hasn't been registered since 1980. I never used this thing before, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it all over the car, uh, rinse it off, then dry it again. I mean, that's the instructions to use it, but try it out. But in the meantime, though, this thing came out super clean. And Brandon washing his uh, sport accord over there. If you guys been watching the channel for a minute, you know. It was right now, Brandon. They said start from the roof, so I'm gonna start from the roof. Shake this bad boy up. Yeah, because they say spray it, and then the, I guess the when you wash it, the water's gonna spray all over the place, and you dry it. Can you spray the glass too, or no? Nah. I mean, if you want to, you could do the glass. So I was gonna use glass cleaner on it. I guess you could spray it on the glass. Yeah. All right, so I'm kind of doing the inside a little bit. I'm not gonna do the full inside. I'm kind of just wiping my windows because the way how Civics have these windows curved is kind of like annoying. So, knocking some of those out in my windows, but the outside was beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys. For the glass, I use McGuire's Perfect Clarity Glass Cleaner. Look at this thing, look at that. I can see myself. I still gotta wipe a little bit more, but it's pretty shiny. And hopefully this little repellent. Oh, it's really shiny actually, not even pretty shiny. Gotta dry it off a little bit more, get some of the, see some streaks and stuff I need to get rid of. Came out pretty good though. How your car came out? Good. 
I need, I need to get on my tires, bro. Let me back up a little bit for you. There you go. Oof. time has passed we actually had taco bell and the line is stupid long like when you come in you have to cut through here and then you look behind me there's like mad cars behind me i didn't know taco bell had the best tacos in the world because everybody's here tonight for some reason look at this babe i just saw a post office uh truck like fly by i heard it and it's five o'clock at night like where is he going baby he flew you're like damn that's my after hour meal off like this and like i saw his body in the shadow and he was He's like flying? Oh, dead. Oh we got the moonroof. Oh, you guys can't see nothing. But we got the moonroof open. So pretty much with the SI, it was just a quick cleanup because it was just filthy. So um, I didn't do a detailed interior or anything like that. I still need to get this car detailed by like a professional. That way I can maintain it from then because the car has never been cleaned since I bought it. So it's kind of overdue. So something that needs to be done and tents. We need tents. I've been doing a lot of computer stuff. So I figured, you know, let me get the SI some love. Um, have fun driving to Brandon House too because he lives on the other side of town, so it was a nice drive. Since I put you guys on to juices all the time, Mango Brisk from Taco Bell, best juice in the world. You're welcome. <laughs> that was such a Michael Scott thing to say. You're welcome. For some reason, you cannot find this juice nowhere else in the world. I have no idea why. I don't know why Taco Bell have a special contract with, with Nesty. Is it Nesty that makes this? Nesty Mango Brisk? Maybe you can find it somewhere. If you guys know, let me know because only Taco Bell, I know the only place that have this and this is, they put something crazy in this because this thing is A1. I forgot in the last vlog to put up the paintings that me and Michelle did with the the wine and sip thing. So I'm gonna put one right there and I'm gonna put one right there. So this is the one I painted. I was thinking of just having it. This is the one I painted. I was thinking of having it right here. Um, to be honest, I'm not even trying to line nothing up right now. Like, it only got like none of the stuff is even anyway that was slapped on the wall. So, Michelle's is gonna go right there with her other paintings. They're so beautiful. And then I'm gonna put mine right there. So, let's do Michelle's first. Do you want it like right here? Yeah. Right there's good? Yeah. I don't have a leveler or nothing, guys. So, I'm just waiting there right now. <gasps> so, Michelle put it up there because her OC would kick in if it's not straight. And I like my area. I kind of like that my area was showing in your recording. I'm gonna actually slap mine on now. That that looks very artsy though. That looks, damn. Okay. <laughs> what the? F this girl's crazy. <laughs> All right. Is this straight? How's that? How that look? Uh. More to the left or more to the right or? Move the right down a little bit. Yeah. Well, now move it up. I think that's good. Right there. All right, that's it. So, it's cooking, it's cooking. Ooh, look at that. Yo, this thing looking, this thing looking jangly, ain't lying. Game room is coming together. Um, there's a lot of miscellaneous stuff on this wall. Like for my job, 2008, um, S2000, when they were brand new back in 2008, this is how you choose the color when you like buying one. And then a random yardstick M&Ms and one of Michelle's painting. Now I got one of my paintings up here. I don't think I went over this. It's, I think so. Maybe I did. I don't know. But it's a Supreme post I got when I bought some from Supreme and you guys know my hot wheels and stuff. Another Michelle's painting. And then this is so cool. 2008 SI color chart. So back then when it was brand new, you would look through the chart. You would go, oh, okay. You want blue metallic? Well, that's why I don't come in that color. Oh, you want royal blue? Well, that's why I don't come in that color. It's been a fun day. I'm glad that we got the Civic cleaned up a little bit it's not professionally done anything like that but at least it's cleaned up thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next vlog